what is going on guys top shelf ttms here haven't made a video in i don't know how long um haven't really been in the hobby haven't really done anything recently um been getting out of it sold a lot of my stuff off honestly um just really to, not into it too much anymore um i've actually gotten into brewing a lot i've really enjoyed that been buying equipment uh, making a lot of different brews and um just started taking more time with that and uh realized this stuff didn't really mean that much to me just sitting in binders and on walls and stacked up and stuff so i've sold a lot of my collection still have a ton of it left kind of weeding through deciding what i want to keep what i want to put up as i get more into brewing kind of around places and stuff and then the rest of it uh it can go so did get rid of my entire game used autograph collection i think i have one card left from that right here that was a ttm from last year i think that's the only one and only because it's made out to me can't really do much with it but uh anyway uh, i did get some requests for uh some videos uh for some updates so i decided to do that so um basically this is what has come in in the last however long since my last video a ttm wise and uh, honestly most of this has come in in the last uh, probably six weeks or so a lot of stuff has just kind of rolled in including one today and uh, with that i decided to uh to make a video so we'll get right to it uh first off every one of these is over at least a year by the way over a year wait um some of them have insane weight so i'll get to it first off paul kilgis nothing like waiting 468 days for paul kilgis on the 90 score if you don't know what this is from because it's been too long this was from funky d's junk wax ttm project which i won the bobblehead is actually sitting right over here and so uh we can add one more to it even though obviously it doesn't count but didn't matter anyway it can go to the winner's total so there it is paul kilgis 468 days later all right next up mr marty barrett signed two cards don't even remember writing to him honestly and the reason i don't remember writing to him is because i sent this in 2012 got this back an entire 1076 days later from marty barrett apparently this easel doesn't work so well for baseball cards so sorry about that all right, so let's do another old one. Mr. Pat Hentgen. This one came back a little quicker, 564 days. Oh, one more, he signed three. 564 days from Pat Hentgen. Uh, kept my envelope, wrote his own, and put the cards in it for some reason. So anyway, got those back. Well, like I said, 564 days, kind of crazy. All right, let's go a little further back here. Coming back from 2011 in 1,436 days. How crazy is that? Brian Harper, old Twins catcher, signed 3 of 3 in blue Sharpie and inscribed John 316 on all of them. Actually, I don't know if that middle one says John 316. I think it says one something. So, uh, anyway, Brian Harper, 3 of 3 in 1,436 days. Next up, decent return, also from 2011, Joe Torrey. Signed the 91 Tops card very nicely. And this one came back in, oh, this is the old longest one, 1,501 days, also from 2011. 1,501 days. Kind of crazy. Next up, from the baseball movie project I was doing back in 2011, from Rookie of the Year, Gary Busey. Signed the Rookie of the Year photo of the poster in 1,466 days. Again, 1,466 days for the Rookie of the Year poster. So, kind of crazy, right? All right, and then this one from 2013. Oh, we're not as old now, right? 2013 spring training. So this one came back in only 1,063 days. 
a good return. Eight by tens. Chris Davis. Signed them all in silver and personalized them to me. Uh, signed them all very nicely. All on the dark spot, so it looks great. Uh, there's one. Uh, there's two. And there is three. From Chris Davis. Who will be being paid by the Orioles until he's about seven years old, right? And then finally, the one that came in today. I'm going to put the camera down for a minute. So I can set this up. This was sent in 2013. Summer of 2013. Hoping to get it back in spring training 2014. Didn't come back. I figure, oh, maybe he just got backlogged. He'll send it in 2015. Never came back. I gave up. Said he kept it. Doesn't sign jerseys. Well, guess I was wrong. Clayton Kershaw. Signed jersey. Personalized to me. Signed it. It's a cool base jersey. So, anyway. Pretty cool item. Kershaw coming back in 872 days. So, for those of you who sent good items to Kershaw and did not get them back, maybe you will. So, anyway, that's it. That's all my TTMs for the last however long. Wanted to share them with you. Hopefully, you enjoyed that since a lot of you have been requesting videos. And, uh... Maybe I'll catch you again another year. See ya.